according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, an adult BMI between 18.5 and 25. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Gracia Stroma, and today I'm going to be helping you guys to get better knowing your health because the way you perform might be affected by maybe what you eat or what you don't pay attention to. There are important tests and screenings that you should do. As a human, this is not just for men, this is both for women. So I'm going to be sharing with you the screenings that you need to do to safeguard your health whether you think you're healthy there are things you need to check out there's things you need to look out for at least twice yearly i try to go to the lab to do some tests and that includes swab tests as a woman that i am so that if there's anything because sometimes there are some things there but you might not actually know it so it is always good to visit the lab and or hospital and do some tests to check your body. Sometimes I even do malaria tests if I start feeling somehow so that if there's anything, I start treating it on time because it is actually an opportunity to showcase any sign of anything and prevent anything from happening. Check yourself to start. Excess weight increases your risk of diabetes and heart health. Your body max index, BMI, measures your body fat based on your height and weight and it can determine if you are overweight or at risk of developing obesity. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, an adult BMI between 18.5 and 25 is within normal range. Know your good and bad. The American Heart Association recommends that all adults over the age of 35 have their cholesterol checked every five years. Screening should begin at 20 years of age if you have certain risk factors which include diabetes, smoking, BMI over 30, family history of stroke, first degree relatives who have had heart attacks. To measure your cholesterol, your doctor will draw a little blood sample from your arm. The results will indicate your levels of HDL, good cholesterol, LDL, bad cholesterol, triglycerides. Cholesterol test results are shown in milligram per deciliter of blood. According to the Mayo Clinic, a healthy total cholesterol goal should be below 200 mg per DL. Look into your lipids. High triglycerides are associated with metabolic syndrome, which increases your risk of heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. The same blood draw used to measure your cholesterol provides a reading of your triglycerides, a type of fat. An optimal triglyceride level is less than 100 mg per DL, although levels below 150 mg per DL are considered normal. Keep tabs on your blood pressure. If your blood pressure is high, you may require medication to control it and ward off heart disease, kidney disease, and stroke. If your blood pressure is within the normal range, you only need to have your blood pressure checked every two years. Normal blood pressure is less than 120 per 80 mmHg, according to the AHA. If your blood pressure is higher, your doctor might probably want to check it frequently. The diagnosis of high blood pressure requires two readings, taking four hours a part of 120 per 80 mmHg. One blood pressure measure greater than 120 per 80 mmHg always has to be confirmed with a follow-up measurement. Diabetes. Blood pressure higher than 135 per 80 mmHg may be a symptom of diabetes. Testing for diabetes may include a hemoglobin A1c blood test, a fasting plasma glucose test, or an oral glucose tolerance test. A single test is insufficient to diagnose diabetes. A second test must confirm that your blood glucose level is abnormally high. 50 candles cholesterol cancer screening according to the american cancer society colon cancer is the second leading cause of death from cancer in american men and women if you've celebrated your 50th birthday and haven't been screened for colorectal cancer it is time you should get screened earlier if colorectal cancer runs in your family don't worry, a colonoscopy is painless and takes only 15 to 20 minutes. Even better, these tests can detect colon cancer early when it is most treatable. Your doctor can find and remove precancerous growth before they become malignant. Don't blow a gasket. 
an abdominal aortic aneurysm is caused by an enlarged blood vessels in the stomach that ruptures suddenly. AAAs frequently have no symptoms and they are fatal in up to 90% of cases. The good news is that an ultrasound can detect AAAs before it ruptures. Forget the stiff upper lip. Although depression occurs more often in women than in men, men are susceptible to it too. Don't dismiss prolonged bouts of feeling down or try to tough it out. Your doctor can screen you for depression and help to determine how to treat it. Therapy, medication or a combination of the two can help. Protect your hide. The number of cases of melanoma has increased more rapidly over the last 40 years than any other form of cancer. Check your skin every month for moles that have changed or looked abnormal. The ABCDs of melanoma are used to help you keep in mind for what to watch out for. Asymmetry if the mole is cut into half vertically. The two halves are not the same. A. Asymmetry if the mole is cut in half vertically. The two halves are not the same. B. Bother the edges of the mole are irregular. C. Color there are changes in the color of the mole surrounding area the diameter the diameter of the mole is larger than 5 mm e everything the mole starts to itch bleed or change in any way you should also look out for sores that won't heal have your doctor check your skin thoroughly as part of your physical melanoma is highly curable when diagnosed early other tests for men you should ask your doctor to check for blood tests and risk for prostate cancer also ask your doctor to know if checking for stis is appropriate for you so guys i hope you find this very helpful these are the screenings that you need to do to stay in shape to be in good health to prevent something from happening or to cure something quick so if you find this video helpful do not forget to like the video share the video to someone will find it helpful and if you like my video or like me as a person like this video subscribe to my channel and um, turn on notification once you subscribe so that you don't miss out whenever i upload new videos if you have anything to say to me at all leave it down below in the comment section and i'm going to see you next time in my next video Bye.